think you can run a car with that. Definitely a generator. Yeah. That's ours. Big difference. Oh, this is Al Qaeda get a real job. Hi, my name is Joe Dirt, and I'm not making fuel cells. I'm pushing the broom. Oh, that's Joe. <laughs> um, well, back here's again, one of the backyard builders, and this is our high performance fuel cell. What you can see here is a, a large fuel cell. This fuel cell is way too big to go in the vehicle. Um, what we've learned is uh, too much hydrogen is actually not the best thing. Um, gasoline is only 13% efficient, diesel is 17%. By adding the right amount of hydrogen, we can make it 95%. But if you put too much hydrogen in it, you're just back to that dirty burn again. So it's not a clean uh, uh, actual burn that you want to get to gain fuel mileage. So what we did was we built this fuel cell so when a car comes in before we build the cell for them, um, we actually, you know, hit it with hydrogen, you know, send hydrogen into the intake and find out what the actual correct amount of hydrogen is needed for the vehicle. Now, if you look up here, here's our production, right? Now, um, Todd's going to turn it up a little bit. And you can hear and see the production even more. Now, on... We just did a, a Toyota Tundra with a 5.7 liter engine, um, extended cab. Um, we installed Todd about three weeks ago, a month ago. And what we did was we brought this unit out and uh, we tested his truck first, right, by, you know, putting the hydrogen into it. And then we went back and we built him a unit and then we installed it later. Um, and what we found out was we knew we had the right amount of gas being made when we took the, uh, when we could breathe off the exhaust and we got a totally clean burn from the exhaust. And which in turn, when you got clean exhaust, means better fuel mileage. Um, Todd averaged 44% uh, fuel gain from his V8 Toyota Tundra, uh, 2008. Okay, so now what we're going to do is watch how we can do this. We can turn it down. Now that's about where Todd's truck actually runs the best on hydrogen. Turn it up just a little bit. It is right at 7 amps. She said if you walk with me, I'll walk with you. That's 7 walk. amps right there. That's where Todd's vehicle runs the best on hydrogen. Now if we gave Todd too much, all the way up. How many amps are we at now, Todd? 25 amps, way too much just flooded it. That's enough hydrogen right there to run a small generator, um, to be able to run like a barbecue grill, home heating, and everything like that. But right around 7 amps, and we have a mathematical formula, you know, can, you know, to deal with surface area plates to make how many amps and how many volts. Now, our volts are 7, and our amps are 7.3. And now look at the best part of it. Look at our temperature, 100, 100 degrees. It can't get any better than that. Here's our flow into our bottle. And then look at the way our hydrogen leaves. Now turn it up. Okay. Now, here we are. That's the bad part. 10 volts we're only using, right? And we're drawing 25 amps. And if you look, our temperature hasn't moved at all. Now we've been running this since probably, I think, what, like eight, 10 o'clock this morning? Yeah. 10 o'clock and seven hours. It's four o'clock and we've stayed a steady temperature. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna show you the unit on Todd's vehicle. All right, here we are with the hood open on Todd's Toyota Tundra. Look at that, 5.7 V8. This ain't no little small engine. Um, okay, here you can see there's our fuel cell installed. There it is down there. And this is a smaller system, way smaller. It's about half the size of the plates. 
but you know, by using the other unit, we know exactly how much hydrogen to introduce into Todd's vehicle. So we take out all the guesswork. See, everybody else, they build, you know, one, two, three cells. There's only one company out there that builds like six or seven different fuel cells. But what they still haven't learned is there's so many different size leader engines. And producing, getting the right amount of hydrogen into them, that's where we get effective. You know what I mean? Getting too much is no good. Getting too little is no good. If you have too much hydrogen, you're going to get worse fuel mileage. If you have, you know, not enough hydrogen, you're only going to gain a little fuel mileage, which you'll gain. You know what I mean? So it's either better to build them smaller or not too big because you're just going to make your gas mileage worse. Okay. Now over here you can see the reservoir bottle, right? And there's our spark arrestor and flash bubbler. And it comes down over into Todd's intake. There it is there. Okay, hey Todd, start this thing up, please. Okay. Now, watch and see when we start making touch. It takes a little bit. Todd's been sitting here. Hey Todd, did you turn your switch on? No, Todd didn't turn the switch on. Okay, there you go. So I got the switch on. Now look at that. Instant. Bam. There we go. We're just making a nice flow of gas. There it is. Okay. Now then it comes over into our reservoir bottle. Todd's a little low on fluid, so we could use a little tap off to send him off on his way later on. Give him some more vinegar. And that's another thing. Actually, we're actually thinking between, instead of using distilled water, we're just going to use distilled water to flush these systems. And I think the best product that we actually be finding using is just the distilled vinegar. So just distilled water to flush and run, actually, how, how long have you been running distilled vinegar now? About three, four weeks. So almost a month now, um, running just on distilled vinegar. And you can see it's nice and clean. You know, it turns to like a, a transmission fluid color, like a, a reddish wine brandy or whatever. I guess that's when we know when it seasons up. You know, we start off as just white vinegar. Um, and as you can see here, making a good amount of flow. System's perking nice. You can, you can, that's the nice part about our units too. You can actually see what's going on. You know when it's time to clean the system, when to flush it, or even to the point where you have to have maintenance on it and break down the whole system and do a deep cleaning on it. And that's something else that nobody else is doing, you know what I mean? Like what our system which makes it so good is, let's just say Todd gave me a call back and he said, hey Jim, I'm getting worse or gas mileage than I was before. Okay, no problem Todd, take off two plates. Now let's say Todd gives me a call and says, hey Jim, I'm only you know gaining one, maybe two miles to the gallon at the best, you know what I mean? Okay, no problem Todd, let me send you the gaskets, the bolts and everything, add on three plates. So we can correctly dial him by just that. Everybody else, you know what I mean, they're still just making these one or two or three fuel cells and they're just guessing. It may work on some vehicles, it may not work on another vehicle. So what we've learned is that we gotta do each vehicle one at a time, test it, you know what I mean, find out what the exact you know, amount of hydrogen that the vehicle needs and when we know it's right, you can come over here and literally just breathe off the exhaust. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find some stranger on the street and let them breathe off the exhaust. How many people do you think are gonna bend down and smell somebody's exhaust and smell nothing? They're gonna be so surprised. All this thing is coming out of here is just steam. Hi, my name is Jordan. This is my dad. Okay. And action. Hi, my name is Jordan. This is my dad. Okay, that one. And action. Hi, my name is Joe Dirt. This is my dad.